Okay, so here's another video about a uh, ridiculous meme that I saw. And as you can see, here's some of them I'll be talking about. Some of them aren't necessarily bad, like this one. So you can justify your fear of all Muslims because of one might be a terrorist, but you don't understand that African Americans fear all cops because one might be a murderer. This is not necessarily a bad one, and I agree with the logic behind that. However, there is something I wanted to add. To, I want I wanted to comment about that um, later on. Here's another one. This is more of a. This one goes more to a, a, a conspiracy. I don't even want to say theory because I believe it's true. But uh, the idea that a lot of the vehicles that ISIS is using were uh, were received from the U.S. There are many people that believe, and I honestly believe it wholeheartedly. I even made a video where Obama actually said it, but uh, the United States actually funds ISIS. So, and the reason why this meme is relevant is if you read it, a guy in Texas sold his uh, truck to someone, and it somehow ended up overseas being used by ISIS. So um, last year there was this big controversy where ISIS was seen with a whole bunch of uh, Toyotas. <laughs> they just came out with, suddenly they just had, apparently they just suddenly had a fleet of cars and people were saying, oh, you know, um, the U.S. gave them those vehicles and other people were saying that's stupid. Why, you know, just because they have a, a, a vehicle, you know, basically it doesn't, there's no proof. People were saying there's no proof. And the reason why this meme is interesting is because here is a guy that's actually taking legal action because his vehicle, his American vehicle, which he sold in America, ended up being used by ISIS. So that's a whole nother topic. But just to give you an idea of what some of them are about, some are religious, some have to do with conspiracy theories, some have to do with racism. Um, the one I wanted to talk to talk, talk about today is this one. Could we all could we drop all ideologies and religions and come together strictly on the strength of being black? Okay, no, what's wrong with that? It's someone, you know, the person who posted this, they believe in, you know, they don't like the division that they see between their people and they want us all to come together for the common good. There is a lot of reasons why I think that will never happen. And uh that actually has nothing to do with religion. But a whole lot to do with ideology. But that's a whole nother topic. I'll make a video on that too. But just dealing with this meme. The meme is self-refuting. Number one. Could we drop all ideology and religion and come together strictly on the strength of being black? This idea that this whole meme presents is an ideology. So we would have to not use this ideology in order to follow this ideology. It's self-refuting. Um, if you don't know what, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what self-refuting means, but if you don't, I'm going to show you some examples. First of all, what's an ideology, since the meme mentions an ideology? An ideology is a system of ideas or ideals, especially one that forms the basis of economic or political theory or policy. Number two, the science of ideas, the study of their origin or nature. Um, we all have ideologies. You wouldn't be able to make sense of the world. It's part of your worldview. Your worldview is all of the things that you've learned over the years or experienced that help you make sense of your of the world. Religion, religion is one of them. Ideologies is another. Like, well, my mom, you know, my, my dad always taught me to treat women a certain way. That's an ideology. Um, what's another one? You never, I don't know. You respect other people. That's an ideology. You give respect other people's religions or you treat everyone the same. Those are ideologies. So you really can't get rid of, you can't drop all ideologies. And religion, I, everyone's religious. I would argue that everyone's, people won't see it that way. They, they tend to think of religion as like uh, belief in a being or belief in a higher authority. But everyone is religious, you know. Um, if you limit religion to belief in a higher authority, then Buddhists wouldn't be religious. It's a religion, but you know, that it, the definition is not sufficient. That narrow definition is not sufficient. Um, people who worship themselves, there are people that say the black man is God. Is that a religion? They, they don't think so, but it is. What's the difference between me believing in, you know, 
Jesus, believing that Jesus came, he was God in the flesh, or you believing in yourself as God. It's the same thing. But anyway, everyone's religious. You can't get rid of religion. Everyone uses ideologies. You can't. It's impossible to function or to have a basis to judge things on without ide ideologies. So those are self-refuting. In, in order for us to follow this, we would have to drop the idea. We can't do it. You, you can't do both. You can't drop the, you can't uh, follow this and then keep this ideology. It, so you can't even use it. It's self-refuting. The bottom part, you know, come together strictly on the strength of being black. So you're talking about eliminating things that cause division, but now you're creating a distinction and you're creating a division yourself, itself. Obviously, on the strength of being black, but then what you're doing is, if you wanted to do that, let's say you wanted to put this into practice, even though it's self-refuting. What the person really means is, let's drop all ideologies and religions that I don't agree with. That's what they really mean, because it's impossible to practice it the way it is laid out and it's mean. Now, let's just say a person says, yeah, that makes sense. Let's drop all ideology and religion. Let's all come together. And you get you, you teach that to people, you have meetings and town hall meetings or whatever, and you start gathering people. When a Muslim or Christian or Hebrew Israelite or a Jew or whatever comes to that door, they're immediately excluded because of their ideology and their religion. They would have to drop it, which you really can't. It doesn't make any sense. So what you would do is, it, or let's say the person said, well, I'm all for the black community. I want us to be united. Um, we can do powerful things together, but I'm a Christian and or I'm a Jew or I'm a Muslim or whatever, or, or I'm an atheist. This concept right here that's presented as a meme would exclude those people and prevent them from helping or contributing to the cause. So <laughs> by trying to create unity, you could actually alienate people who have a lot to offer to whatever movement, you know, the whole black power movement because that's what this is about you can exclude a whole lot of people who could actually be like some heavy hitters and just the idea like my what you know it's like what is the value of ideologies or religions people believe that you know we need to go back to africa or people believe that we need to learn more about our ancestry and their religions and their ideologies well if you believe that that's an ideology that you have, so you would have to drop that as well. You couldn't turn, you couldn't even teach. Let's go back and learn our history because that is the key to us advancing as a people. You couldn't even practice that either because you have to drop all, drop all ideologies. And then furthermore, when it comes to religion, a lot of my values come from my religion. I'm a Christian. Um, how I treat women, how I'm supposed to treat women, um, what I, what I should think of my fellow man, how I should conduct myself on my job. Should I steal? What should I not steal? Um, whether humility, those come from my religion. Like, and, and there are times when I go against all those things and what brings me back to trying to be respectful to women, trying to be uh, humble, trying to be an honest worker and trying to tell the truth, trying to, those come from my religion. So if you drop those from a lot of people, guess what? Um, well, they're actually spiritual things. They're not religious, quote unquote, religious things anyway. But if you want to, the idea is to get rid of anything that can be tied to religion. You have to get rid of the values that religions promote as well. And, not, and some of them may be considered bad by different people. You know, they obviously religion has been used as a tool to manipulate people or to do bad things. But, you know, so have guns. So have baseball bats. Um, I, to me, that argument is not very logical. But I can understand why people may have an issue with religion. But you have to understand the implications of eliminating religion is that you eliminate a lot of good standards and things as well. So, um, again, this is another self-refuting uh, meme. It doesn't really make any sense. It, it may sound good and it may sound like it makes sense, but it contradicts itself. You, 
again, you can't get rid of any ideology. If you get rid of it, your ideologies, you'll just be like a, a I don't want to say like a zombie, but you won't be able to take a stance on anything, good or bad. You know? So, and again, you know, you create division by saying we need to get rid of religion or ideologies. Not only that, you kind of lower the bar of morality because you don't, if you're getting rid of ideology and religion, mainly ideology, because you don't need religion to have morality. But how could you agree on anything in terms of morality? You can't. You need to go by some kind of baseline. And then I guess the idea could be, well, we come up with our own. Well, then you just you just made your own religion and you're no different than the other religions that you're trying to get rid of. So, um, again, it's not to attack anyone, but I just see these things floating around and some of them just doesn't make any sense. They don't make any sense. So if you watch this, thank you for taking the time to watch it. I'll try to make keep them shorter in the future. My first one was like 17 minutes. I have no idea how long this one is. I'll try to keep them shorter. Um, and feel free to comment, reply, share, or whatever, good or bad.